Hello, Just Too Good here, and you guys may be curious, what did I get from Japan? I know the Japan trip was getting kind of long ago at this point, I mean, almost two weeks, but uh, I, I'm still editing a lot of the footage there, and there's gonna be like a big vlog, there's still gonna be random store stuff, so no, I'm still in the US, we're still quarantined, but I just have a lot of content from Japan, and one of those I wanna do is a big haul. So, there's a lot of Lego in here, or not a lot, but there's some Lego in here, but there's also a lot of Nintendo stuff and Pokemon stuff. And then all the way back there, and I can't believe I'm doing it in one video, is just Japan food. <laughs> so uh, I'm not gonna be trying any. If anything, those will be on the Just Two Food channel, trying them out. But I do wanna show you like some of the crazy food I got. Of course to them, normal, but to us, or at least me, in America, it's strange, but to them, maybe some of our American traditions are strange, so it's whatever. But uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I guess let's just start with the first thing, which is the biggest Lego set I got. It's the Tokyo Skyline architecture set. This is my first architecture set, actually, and I've never gotten one before, but I did wanna get this because I was there. I went to Tokyo Tower, and I recognize some other buildings, but I wanna double check. I mean, that's Mount Fuji. Let's see what else I got. Uh, Tokyo Big Site. I did not go there. Uh, this, uh, oh, Shibuya Crossing. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's awesome. I didn't even notice that they had that. Oh, man. And uh, oh, I didn't go to that park either. It's got a little bit crushed in the suitcase, but whatever. And to go along with that, if you guys saw the Legoland Discovery Center there, they have this exclusive set of a Sakura tree, which is a cherry blossom tree. So I was very fortunate to get it. And if you purchase the Tokyo Skyline, you get this at the Legoland Discovery Center. So this is a very rare set. It goes for like 100 on eBay, but I'm probably gonna just keep it sealed and add it to the super rare collection because there's nothing super special in terms of like the pieces there. So it's something I could keep sealed. Now for some Amiibos, I don't really collect Amiibos anymore, but these are some that I missed out on because they're pretty expensive here. They were only around less than 15 bucks because the conversion there is like 100 yen is about a dollar. It's actually less than a dollar. So they were super cheap here. I got the Zelda one from Breath of the Wild, uh, the Piranha Plant one, which I just never saw, and King K. Rule, which I never saw. And again, I don't collect Amiibos, but I like getting some of the characters I like. So these are cool to add to the collection at a very cheap price compared to what they go for in America. And also the Japanese packaging kind of rocks. I mean, look at that Japanese Breath of the Wild logo. It just looks amazing. Okay, it's just a random grab bag, but uh, we have the plushie of uh, freaking Cyntaquil. I can't believe I forgot one of my favorite Pokemon's names for a second there, Cyntaquil. Actually, the first starter I ever chose. This is the rescue version from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I don't know if they sell these plushes in the United States. I haven't seen them. And I also got a Dragon Knight plush, because Dragon Knight's a very hard plushie to find. And it's a character, or sorry, Pokemon I really like. I used him on my team in Pokemon Pearl. Also, we got the Sky Tree exclusive Pikachu, which Sky Tree is one of the Pokemon Center locations. I did a video for that one, and I did a video for another Pokemon Center location. Let me know in the comments uh, if you want to see those last two Pokemon Center locations as one video or as two separate videos. I guess you guys will all say one video, but we'll see. And over here is this version. I guess it's in a kimono. I, I want to get that right. Hopefully I'm right about that. But it's a kimono uh, Pikachu. And this was also at the Sky Tree location, which just happened to have like every exclusive Pikachu from the other stores, which I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> and I'm, I'm noticing I actually bought another Pikachu and I don't think, I, oh, I hope I still have it. Cause there was the one that was exclusive with the, there's just one with glasses or something like that. Oh no, somebody might've taken it, but whatever. That was my least favorite of all of them. So I'm fine with that. Uh, this one is actually exclusive to the Shibuya location. And this was the store that's near the Nintendo store there, or it's across actually from the Nintendo store. This one I did not see at the Skytree location. So I'm glad I did get that in that sense, but it's a very interesting graffiti looking version of Pikachu. Then there's two more Lego sets. I still have some, I think I have a poly bag and something else in here. And these are two accessory packs that released before I went to Japan, but they weren't at the store. And I was like, okay, well, I guess let me buy them there. And if you guys saw that Legoland Discovery Center video, I think I said that there, they are very overpriced there. This was probably not worth the money, but it's that memory. You can see almost 24 bucks a pop, basically. <laughs> first, that's a little bit under, but still. So I, I do want to review these. Let me know which one of these you want me to review first. I'm a little bit behind on that, but whatever. Those are two sets I was looking forward to. Let's see. Uh, I got some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. 
So at Akihabara, uh, they had a lot of card shops. So I wanted to get some Yu-Gi-Oh! Because when I was younger, I used to love getting Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. And I was like, if I ever go to Japan, I'll buy a lot of Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. I didn't buy a lot, but I did buy this box of what seems to be a promotional pack or something like that. It's only 20 bucks, so it's not like the booster box is here. I got this deck box, uh, which that's just something that's usable in even the American cards, you know, because they're, they're all the same size or whatever. So a little exclusive, and I think I got that from Toys R Us there. I got lots of packs, probably about like 20 to $30 worth. There's more in here somewhere. Oh, you can see right here's another one. I might open these on my dead Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, which is Canon Soldier. If you guys want to check that out, linked in uh, our, on my channel page. Here's another one. Hopefully these didn't get bent. Uh, this is from the Nintendo store, and this is from the Nintendo store. These are travel stickers. I just think these are super adorable. So there's one for Animal Crossing and one for Mario Odyssey, and that's my little Switch avatar. What else we got? Uh, two of these uh, Famicom Minis, and then there's one more somewhere around here. Oh, right here. So I got Donkey Kong, Super Mario Bros, which I th hope this is a Famicom Disk System version, but I don't think it is. And then we also have Pac-Man. Now, all three of these were released as NES, or sorry, Famicom Minis in the US, and these were released around 2004, but I just love the Japanese packaging. And these are for Game Boy Advance. And the Game Boy Advance isn't region locked, so I actually had the Super Mario Bros. 2 version of this, or the Super Mario Bros. 2 copy, and I played the heck out of that when I was younger. So that's very nostalgic to me. I saw these at the retro gaming store, and I'm like, I wanna buy some of these in the box. And maybe I'll start displaying them and I can get all of them, because it's a really fun one to collect. There's like 60 of them or something like that. Uh, over here is an Animal Crossing jar, I believe. The Animal Crossing houseware there is just absolutely gorgeous and perfect timing with the new Animal Crossing game taking up a lot of my time. <laughs> Sorry guys. And we got, uh, I think this is like cookies inside here or something like that, but it's a tin. Oh yeah, it's still sealed, but uh, this has all these different characters. They have these interesting just artworks and everything of uh, various characters. I don't see that in the American Nintendo store. So that was really cool to get from Nintendo Tokyo. More stuff from Nintendo Tokyo includes uh, Animal Crossing, little cookies, another Lego, Sky Police drone. They gave this with uh, the Lego Land purchase. So Lego over there. Uh, some posters were kind of slipped in, but they got destroyed. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be epic. Wh what's this, you ask? Well, we went to a maid cafe. Um, you can't record at the maid cafe, but uh, it was Maid Dreaming in Akihabara. It, basically, it's 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 for all ages. Don't think it's anything more than that. But and they even have like discounts. Kids eat free or whatever. But it's just these really cutesy maids serve you, and you can only talk to them by speaking all cutesy and stuff. It sounds weird, but it's a Japanese experience. So if you ever go to Japan, trust me, go to a maid cafe. You'll have fun. The food there was actually pretty darn good. The hamburger steak. And they drew like little characters on it. You'll see in the full vlog. Oh, man, I really want to edit that vlog, but it's like, oh, it's gonna be like three hours long. It'll be worth it though. I just don't expect it right away. Over here, <laughs> I didn't put a lot of the gifts that I got from my friends. This is not a gift for my friend. This, this, this is a gift for me. Uh, I just like Moogie. And it was 11 bucks, okay? You can't blame me there, okay? That was, I think, the only anime figurine I got for myself, unless you count Pokemon. Over here, uh, this was a gotcha box, but it's weird because it actually shows you which one. I didn't know that. I'm glad I chose it though because I love Typhlosion. So I got like a Typhlosion and a Cyntaquil. Oh, Typhlosion is in here. And then we also have Cyntaquil, which is just a tiny thing. So those are some of my favorite Pokemon. And I wanted to get them as figurines. Also, I got these, which uh, maybe it comes with, uh, Gamper and Sword Guy, <laughs> right? That's Sword Guy. Uh, but I do like Yamper. I thought it was a mystery box though, so oh well. <laughs> Maybe I'll re-gift it, I don't know. Again, I, I've got a lot of gifts for peeps, but I am gonna have to re-gift a lot of them. Uh, and then this one, I don't even know what Pokemon that is. That's not Corviknight or anything, right? But of course, Gengar. <laughs> Again, I thought these were just random boxes. So if I knew they were, I don't know if I would've chosen these two. I still love Gengar, so it's fine. Over here, 
Just a little thing from Sky Tree. I think it's a might be like a little uh, like a keychain or something. Uh, this is Mario kitchen towels. I love the design on these. This this is actually going into my kitchen. <laughs> I, I actually did get these for the kitchen over here. And that is from Nintendo Tokyo. And Nintendo Tokyo just has like the best selection of Mario stuff. Again, it's one store in Shibuya. And I ended up getting some clothes from there, which include uh, this crossover of Pokemon and Mario. This is a jacket. This one might be too small for me though. Or this one might be too small because it's a medium. And basically I'm a medium in the US, but every size there is one, what is it, one less. So this is technically a small in the US, and then the medium is large. But you can see this one, very interesting crossover where they have a Mario Pixel design, and then inside it's all Pokemon. And then I also got this shirt, which is just a little tiny, very subtle um, Zelda reference. That's that. Uh, I got some Japanese clothes too, uh, beyond that. I actually got it from Azul. I got like a Japanese jacket. Uh, you know, that style, going to be appropriating or whatever, I don't know, but uh, I'm probably not going to open that for now. I know you guys don't really care about clothes. And over here, this was actually a gift from my friend as a joke. I'm going to be freaking reviewing this, all right? I'm going to see how Nanoblock compares to Lego, but it's of Tokyo Tower, which was a really cool spot that I hit up there. More Yu-Gi-Oh stuff with a special sleeve set of sleeves. Uh, another Animal Crossing jar. This is a smaller jar. They're just, ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. I just love the designs on there. Oh man, this stuff, it's, it's, it's awesome. I, I, I want more Animal Crossing products in the United States. I just never see any. Okay, hopefully Lego when they play with Animal Crossing sets. This is from Mount Anadi, which speaking of Lego and Nintendo, of course that's the mountain that I climbed when I was climbing down. Uh, the Mario news dropped. And I didn't get anything for myself at the jump store, or maybe I got one of the Yu-Gi-Oh things there, but I was kind of surprised to see how little Yu-Gi-Oh stuff they had there. So I got a lot of gifts for friends there because that's like the only jump thing I really care about. Uh, there's also, this little cookie jar, I believe, it has a little Isabel on it, which is too cute. This is epic. It's so basically in Japan, <laughs> they have like cleaning towels with every meal, and they they come in this packaging. But I think at the Sega arcade, we were given this one, and I was like, yeah, I'm keeping that. It's a weird Sonic product, but I am keeping this. It is weird. <laughs> I got an extra one of these. Might regift it or something. Got uh, little cord, cord BBs, which uh, this one has, this is a gotcha, or maybe it is just Pichu, I don't know. And this, you could get the three original starters. Out of all things, Sylveon and then Mew. So all Gen 1 besides Pichu and Sylveon, right? That's the fairy BB. That's nothing, nothing in there. Oh wait. Hmm. Little, little Hello Kitty. Oh. At the Hello Kitty store, I didn't even notice they gave me this tag. That's kind of cute. Uh, oh, what is this? <laughs> so this is an Isabel pen. <laughs> and over here, again, uh, these bags are wrapped up very well. They tape every bag so you know it's not like tampered with, at most stores at least. Uh, and inside this one was that golden figure that they gave me with the purchase. So I didn't feel too bad paying all that. So that's a cool Lego addition because I wanted this set, but I never got it. Uh, it was from that drone, the other drone set of all things. And it seems like we're good on all of the whatever stuff, uh, the, you know, non-food stuff. I do want to show this. The receipt at the Nintendo store has Zelda printing on it. Isn't that cool? And now we get to the strange food, which of course is just strange in my eyes, but 
A lot of these also look absolutely delicious. <laughs> so, what we got here? This, I think, actually expired. Uh, this was probably not supposed to be brought here uh, in terms of it expiring. It was packaged, so yikes, that expired on the 24th. But that was from a art, well, not an arcade, it was actually a freaking casino, <laughs> but that was, a, that was a, an exchange I got from a casino. Now this is chocolate from Ghana, black chocolate. I wonder how it tastes, but uh, again, probably gonna do a just your food of all of these. Unless you guys wanna see the food video here, maybe I'll just do that. I, I was even contemplating making this food thing a separate haul. So, Dars, Dars, Ghana milk chocolate, chunky chocolate. Uh, Sakura Blossom Kit Kat. That was for my mom, probably. Barbecue Cheetos. This looks interesting, to say the least. Looking forward to trying this one. And I also got a lot of just weird fish things, which is, you can bring them as long as they're packaged, so that's good. But uh, a lot of these are probably for my brother because he likes trying weird fish and everything like that. This is like white cheddar Cheetos, but the packaging is weird. Doritos, I'm not sure what flavor. More barbecue Cheetos. These, which are very delicious. I don't know what they're called exactly, but they just taste, they're like kind of like almost gummy, but powdery and flowery. It's, it's really strange, but they taste darn good. I, I haven't tried the specific one there, but yeah. And then party ice cream, uh, yeah, I wanna try that. Fish to cat flavor. I am probably not gonna be trying that, whatever it is, but again, I really like those strange fish things. This is mochi Kit Kats. Um, these are actually fairly popular. I think you could even find them in like um, Asian supermarkets in the US. I don't, I don't even know. This is like a squid, canned squid or something like that. I don't know, but this one I'm actually, I, I might try compared to others. It doesn't look that bad. That's an adult candy. <laughs> oh, and these are cheesecake bites. Yeah, interesting, right? Apparently the cheesecake bites are really good too. My friend had some. I don't even remember buying this one, but okay. Probably like little honey covered nuts. Not sure what this is, but uh, looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this looks gross. It's definitely small little crabs, but again, Probably awesome, probably tastes good. I might be willing to try this one. I don't know about this one, guys. I don't know if I'll be trying this. But again, uh, they are going to a good place. My brother doesn't want to try all that fish stuff. Um, chocolate, I got a lot, of, I love milk chocolates. So I like, I just got a lot of chocolate stuff and that's gonna be fun to try. Oh, shoot, I didn't know I got two of these. Okay, that's good, that's good. Uh, more Ghana chocolate. Um, ooh, this is risky. I, I don't even know what this is. Mystery meat, right? Watch it be like pork product or something, which you're not supposed to bring. Okay, this is... I hope this ain't pork either. I don't think that's pork. That's that's like a tuna. I'm kidding, TSA. I'm kidding. Oh, this expired as April because this was part of the the winnings from the casino. But yeah, I don't know what that is. In the comments, if you are Japanese or you know what this food is, let me know. Like some of them, but like I have a vague like I'm. Guessing this is something with squid or something. It's like ignorant American does haul of whatever. And 
Yeah, uh, hopefully that is, yeah, that looks like a steak or something like that. You can bring beef, right? Uh, bag. Milk, chocolate, and <laughs> Jack Daniels. Uh, not the kids. Over here, this is one of the ones that just looks the most interesting. I am willing to try this one. It looks disgustingly good. Like, just curiously good. I don't know why, but I really want to try that. Uh, oh, I guess I got this. I just never saw, like, merch of Bunny Link, so I was like, okay, that's interesting. Uh, they actually had quite a few, like, Link to the Past merchandise at the Nintendo store. So I found that kind of cool. Uh... I don't, I don't know what this is, but looks good. <laughs> Might be instant soda or something like that. Ew, that bag, oh, ew. That might have been somebody else's stuff, because that bag was open. Anyways, let's see what else. Looks like Maybe uh, eel? I, now you may be like, if you've never had eel before, you may think it's gross. Eel kicks ass, okay? You, you gotta try eel. At least on sushi. I like, I like uh, dancing eel rolls and uh, what's the other one? Rainbow or something? No. There's like another famous one that's like dragon rolls. I think dragon rolls have eel. Good stuff, good, really good stuff. And These were all from a place called um, Don Quixote. And Don Quixote is like the Walmart <laughs> of, of Japan. Though I, I did not find any Lego there, unfortunately. Uh, beef bowl Pringles. Yeah, just what I want. <laughs> but no, beef bowls rock there. So I actually did buy two of these. Huh, I don't remember buying two. Very late at night at Don Quixote. <laughs> uh, these are definitely gifts. Definitely not for myself. Where'd you get that from? Yep. <laughs> okay. See, I, I don't know if I opened this bag because I went through some of these with just your mom, but I don't remember this one either. But, okay. Nor this one, but it looks pretty darn good. Yeah, this whole bag is just stuff I don't remember. Uh, uh, that, that's a gift. And uh, roast milk. So not just regular milk, roast milk. Probably almost coffee flavored or something like that. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Ooh, this is like cheese stick. I just hope, I'm saying eel because I just hope it doesn't expire. Okay, it expires the 10th, uh, the 10th, the 10th month, which is October. So we should be good. Watch it be like the 10th day of like March. <laughs> it just expires since then. Uh, this is like beer battered something, but it looks good. I'm probably going break these up and do like, you know, uh, chocolates and then do like meats and stuff like that if I am going to do a Just Two Food. Again, check out Just Two Food. There's going to be, oh, I can't wait to do, I filmed like Japanese McDonald's, Japanese Burger King, Japanese KFC, Japanese Taco Bell, just all those comparisons. So stay tuned for that too. Uh, the Just Two Food channel is going to be booming in a bit, but wasabi chocolate. Whatever this is, <laughs> looks interesting. Whatever this is. And gummy colas, which I love gummy cola. This is one of the ones I'm probably not gonna try. <laughs> That's for the brother. I don't know what that is. I can make guesses and I don't want to say what I think it is. What else we got? There's still more, there's still more. Not a lot more, but there's still more. This thing. <laughs> And this. Oh. Also, it's funny because I got this, this suitcase because I ran out of space packing stuff. That suitcase is from Don Quixote. It was like 90 bucks. That in itself is a haul. I'll always have a Japanese suitcase now. Okay, so this is filmed after I did the haul video, but uh, oh, this just got damaged. Uh, this is some more Pokemon stuff I got from uh, one of the later Pokemon centers, but I just kind of missed this bag. 
So it seems like this is like a Pikachu cookie or something like that. Got two of them. This one's in much better conditioning. And this is the Pikachu I was looking for, because I was like, yeah, did I leave it or something? So this is uh, one of the special ones who, uh, wasn't, I think it's a, it was the store that's near the Pokemon Cafe. Uh, so that, that was a location it's supposed to be exclusive to, but it was also at Skytree. And then we also have like, I don't know, Pikachu curry or something like that, or soup. This is something, let's see. I, I love a little Sobble packaging, but I'm gonna have to ruin it. All the packaging is gonna just look awesome. Oh yeah, okay, this is actually gonna be a gift for somebody. I hope they're not watching this video because I tried separating all the gifts. Yikes. And yeah, at this location, I got a lot of Pokemon food. So I guess this is actually fitting for the near the end of the video. Oh, this is another cute thing that I am probably going to give as a gift. Sorry, you're probably watching this video. Spoiler alert. And one last thing, which is another wafer. Either way, I'm going to cut to the next part, which doesn't include these. Again, I forgot to include this in the haul, but we already cleaned everything up. Uh, oh my gosh. So this is all the food. Oh, I am Bunny Link. <laughs> yeah, so much. And then this is a lot of what I got. Oh, also, I don't even know if I covered this, but there's this Japanese friends catalog or advertisement. Oh, look, Rebuild the World's there too. That was kind of interesting. That was from uh, Toys R Us. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, and let me know what stuff from this haul you want to see me cover on this channel and subscribe to Just Two Food for like videos on all this stuff. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Still got so much more content to post from Japan. So definitely stay tuned on these two channels, but I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Peace out, bye.